Forest Woods Media presents 20th Century Poets. Listen now to a commentary on Robert Penn Warren, third poet laureate of the United States. Robert Penn Warren is the only poet laureate to have won a Pulitzer Prize in fiction and two Pulitzer Prizes in poetry. This is significant because Warren's fictive ability shows up in his poems to create a season, provide the emotional weather, and introduce character. To do all this, the poet would have to use plain speech. But to this we add prosody, for his poetry is not colloquial speech, although diction and word choice make the writing available to the reader. Warren's early poetry shows influence of the metaphysical poets he taught and who, who were his field of knowledge. He was also greatly impressed by T.S. Eliot, and his poetry shows this early on. He would not admit to calling it experimental writing. He didn't like that term, but he certainly gave the line free range with strung phrases, as Eliot did, creating its own form. Yet there is never disorder, because his sense of character is so strong, the philosophical notion so cohesive that each poem has an energy center that holds. His narratives contain historical perspectives, existential thought, but the story always moves outward in conflict or toward inner conflict as the sustainable force. Sometimes Warren's own self is central to the poem and it is not evidence of ego, but exactly the opposite. It's a fusion that teaches us self in relation to the world, but more than that, self-knowledge as part of imagination. This is what he should be credited for. Warren's writings come from the South. He's a regional writer and draws from that collective consciousness, experiencing the Southern perspective to history, incident, race, and psychological struggles. Some critics have pointed to melodrama in Warren's work use of cliches and abstractions. But in a way, this testifies to his intention of not bending to what others say is right and wrong. In writing any composition, Robert Penn Warren said he tried to immerse himself in the feel of it rather than to make a blueprint for research or a plan for structure. He has a high opinion in trusting the gut response and his own nervous system. He claims to have been a poet first, novelist second, critic third, but in each he shows an appreciation of differences in people, an awareness of history, and a way of making his writing into docudramas, combining fiction, fact, and event. Here is a poem about a hospital stay that moves back and forth across memory. These are the last lines of that long poem entitled Three Darknesses, where the speaker is watching an old Western movie on TV before surgery. Here we go. Action fades into distance, but you are sure that virtue will triumph. Far beyond all the world, the mountains lift, the snow peaks, float into moonlight. They float in that unnameable altitude of white light. God loves the world for what it is. We say Robert Penn Warren spoke for himself as well. I'm Grace Cavalieri. Funding is provided by the Zynipid Fund. Our producer is Jack Taraschuk. Our engineer is Mike Turpin.